Beloved, wherever you are watching me from, thank you for your participation. Wherever you are, may God Almighty bless you as you keep watching me on your screen. I want to teach you something about power. How to obtain power. How to get power from Jesus Christ. When you read the word of God, that is John chapter 1 verse 12. It is written, for them that believed Jesus Christ unto them giving the power to become the sons of God. For those that believed Jesus Christ, they were given the power. The power there is highlighted, it is underlined access. Access or the rights. The rights. So for them that to believe, they were giving the access, they were giving the right to become the sons of God. So before you can be given power to operate in the supernatural realms, man covering and the asparos to die, the first thing you need is to believe. You have to believe Jesus Christ. Do you believe Jesus? If you really believe in the name of the Lord, you be given the power. You have the power. You have the power. But I'm gonna teach you for you to know how to implement the power that is in you. There is something in you because you believe in Jesus Christ. You have been entrusted with the power. Something supernatural. It is in you. Yes, that thing is within you. And you read the book of Psalm chapter 8, verse 2. Say, even babies have been given power. Babies, they have been given power. So when they want to be breastfeeded, they will just cry. And the mother of that baby will quickly attend to the baby and feed him or her with a breast. Hallelujah. That teaches you that even little babies they have power how can you grown ups in christ you have something strong you have something supernatural in you i'm gonna teach you right now to understand it you have power we have three types of power mark of the andes the power to become the power to become that is, you have the Hebrew word for this, the power to become. That is Emi. Emi. The Emi there is a Hebrew word which simply means to, be, to cause to become something. To cause to become something. To become what? To become fruitful in Christ. To become what? To become a teacher. To become a lawyer. To become a doctor. The power to become something. But when you have that power, you have the ability in life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we have the power to become. The power to become a mortal billionaire. Mark of and yes, we didn't shout amen. Hallelujah. The power to become a great person in your family. The power to become something. That is the first type of power. Secondly, we have the power to stand against your enemies. Receiving the power against your enemies, it is very, very good in Christianity. If you don't have power against your enemies, they will rather have powers against you. You have to get power against sickness, powers against poverty, powers against any difficult things in life. Hallelujah. When you have that power, Sickness has no power over you. Death has no power over you. Power against you are antagonist. I pray for you wherever you are. Watching you from wherever you are participating in this live stream. 
May you receive power to stand against every problem in life. May you receive power against anything that has become redundant, that has become uh, meaningless in your life. Whatever, whatever that the enemy has deposited in your life and it is causing you problems. May you receive power to stand against that thing. That is the second type of power. And the third type of power is the power over something. Having powers over something. Hallelujah. When you believe in the Lord God Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, He gives you, He gives you power over everything. For instance, when you go into a certain company, because you have power over Immediately, you will be appointed as an employee. You, you, you get that power. You become the top most person. You become the boss. You become the manager or the director of that company. That is the power over. Hallelujah. That's, that is the power over will grant you the access to lead. What I'm doing right now. I am leading God's people. That is a half power over. Hallelujah. May you receive power. May you receive power over, over everything in life. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mark of the Antali Musiki Makataya. Wherever you are watching me from, receive power over everything in life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the living God, you have the power. But what is left for you is how to implement that power. Kappa mit Kappa Andi Hasi Kataya. I'm going to teach you the ways to use that power that God has given unto you. Hallelujah. The first thing you have to do, you have to subject yourself to fasting and praise. You have to pray a lot. Have to pray a lot. Subject yourself to fasting and prayers. It will help you increase your spiritual strength and abilities in Christ. Hallelujah. The second thing you have to do is you have to be reading and meditating on the word of God. It will give you power. Hallelujah. It will give you power. It will give you a lot of power. The third thing you have to do, you have to live in a righteous life. The more you live in a righteous life, it will turn into a spirit. It will turn into a spirit, and from that spirit, you get the power to do whatever you want to do in life. And finally, you have to live in a holy life. It will help you. Anyone who lives in a holistic life, it's really powerful. Yes, it's really powerful. It's really powerful. Our God Almighty is holy. God is holy. And for that thing, and for that thing, he has he, 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 he is really, he's really powerful. All of us we, we are aware that the God that we serve is very, very powerful. It is because of his holiness that has granted him the ability to become that supernatural being. Hallelujah. We give glory and honor to the Almighty God. I believe you have understood. You have understood power. Power. Power in Greek means that is it is associa or dynamis. Associa or dynamis. Hallelujah. We call it to bless you for following these teachings. I believe your life will never ever be the same again in Jesus mighty name. I am praying for you stretch out your hands towards your screen. Wherever you are, receive divine touch. Makobe and Tabali Kobe and yes. Power that will enable you to do whatever you want to do in life. Power that to enable you to get your healing now. Right now, stretch forth your hands towards your screen. Make comprehend the arrows to Bantala Masikataya. I provide you with divine powers. Make comprehend the Masikataya. Power that to help lift up your business. Powers 
that will position your life from good to better. Papantikata from bitter to sweet. Power that will give you the access to sweet things in life. Power is that to give you the power to be flourished. I command your life to be flourished in the name of Jesus Christ, the living God. Receive that power. Receive that power. I am praying for you. Beloved, wherever you are, Marco, Bray, Anthony, Marcos, Compa, and I hope hopefully you are touched. You, you, you are touched with the man hand in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you in Jesus' mighty name. Lord God Almighty, may you help your people. May you give us powers because we do believe in you. We do believe in you. We do believe in you. And we believe that you have given us powers over whatever that we want to do. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray.